Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Aquarius. How are you guys? I hope all's well in your world. Let's see what's happening with your money and then your love life. Money, career, finance, what does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? Clarity please for your money, your job. There we go. Some of you may be juggling or kind of weighing the pros and the cons of a situation here. Some kind of decision needing to be made. You know, trying to manifest something. It's telling you you have everything you need to manifest your desires. So it could be juggling jobs, trying to manifest, or like I say, it could be, because uh, the magician is also very creative. It's about creating what it is you want. So it looks like there's some sort of decision here. Little Gemini energy. And then, yeah, so it's a crossroads, some kind of choice. So you may have some choices, something to do with going down this path, choosing another path. So some of you are kind of, well, you're either procrastinating or weighing the pros and the cons of whether to mass manifest something new to go down a path. It looks like choices, career choices, financial decisions. Some of you may be juggling multiple jobs, robbing Peter to pay Paul. Yeah, some of you are a little tired too, a little drained. So I feel this could be just manifesting something new, going down a new path. This is an energy of creativity and passion, the two of wands. It's about following your passions. Yeah, some of you are feeling a little drained or you're just not sure. Just not sure. So it's just really about a decision. It says you have everything you need. You have everything you need to manifest what it is you want. It could be taking a, a situation to another level. But some of you are, like I say, drained or you're bored where you're at. So it's it's an energy of moving towards a new path, something new. Yeah, so I do see this decision. Yeah, see, it's an energy of a decision, releasing burdens, baggage, paying, paying off debt. Some of you are exhausted. You've been juggling a lot. So maybe it's all about paying off debt or just... An energy of taking responsibility to make this choice. It could be you're drained, you've got a lot on your plate, maybe working multiple jobs. So it could be where some of you maybe just kind of need a little bit of a break. Just kind of sit in the fence for a bit until you make this decision. Because I feel you have what you need. And I see some of you are actually debt free. I can see debt free. But others of you, this is what you want to do is pay off debt but working multiple jobs and just feeling drained. Some of you may be feeling you're missing other opportunities too. Mm -hmm. But I really feel, like I say, it's looking good. Burden's being lifted. The sun is shining. See, going down a new path, starting something new. Yeah, it's time. Maybe you're just bored in, in a position you're at. Or if you've been working multiple jobs, it's just you're just exhausted. Yeah, choices. You have what you need. I feel it has to do with the skills, the things that you know. Okay, to manifest here. It's actually very positive energy. Yeah, look, we got the Empress. See, this is the birth of something new, going down a new path. I feel like, you know, I see an Empress. I see some of you paying off bills, debt. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, I see just a, working really hard, a lot of responsibility. Some of you are taking responsibility and I see an empress. So some of you are, you know, manifesting, you have what you need to manifest this empress energy. So I feel, you know, debt free, um, not working as much. <laughs> I feel there's a little bit of a goal here. Yeah, it's lovely. I feel that you're open to offers, ideas. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's just a little inner struggle to make this choice. And again, we have two twos. So I don't feel like this is something that's going to take a long time to resolve. But I'm seeing the Empress energy. Some of you have done very well. Yeah, look at that. There's the, see, saving money, holding on to your money. If there's something you don't need, put it back. So some of you have been saving money here. See, some of you have already, I feel, reached one of these goals. Some of you have already paid off some debt. And all this hard work, I feel, is something going to pay off. So now I feel some of you are saving money, holding on to your money. Mm-hmm. But it's to take a situation to another level, something you have. You have everything you need. So, yeah. I feel it's just that internal struggle. Yeah, look at there. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles. See, being practical, sensible, sending your money. Uh, using your resources wisely as well here, you see. So... Whatever you've been, this challenge you've been dealing with here, I feel it's all going to work out just fine. 
but it has to do with somebody. It could be something you're thinking that you've done in the past too. So you have the skills. So there's a little bit of the path you've been on and where you're going. I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles, someone stable and grounded, using the resources wisely, not spending too much money, but being very comfortable. Very nice energy. I feel you know, whatever this is, it's a, it's the twos. So it's something that isn't going to last forever. So, yeah, you have what you need, I feel, to manifest the skills, the desire, the ambition. So it's just an energy of being very practical about where you see yourself beyond this point. And I'm seeing an empress, so <laughs> very, very nice. Let's have a look at your love life. Yeah, four of wands. So it could have to do with all this is going to tie together. It usually do it does. Energy is energy. Yeah, so see a whole new perspective. See, it's an energy of a whole new perspective. Now this could do with a house and a home, but I'm seeing a home here. See, kind of checking things out, taking a pause, looking at things from a different perspective. I see a test of faith with the nine of wands. Yeah, so this is having faith in the path that you're on. So sort of sticking to it, being grounded and sensible, using the resources, the knowledge, the things that you already know. Because I feel you have what you need. Okay, or you're going to have what you need. <laughs> but it's about the perspective, how you look at things, you see? So I'm seeing a change of perspective, but I feel with your love life, it could be, like I say, you may be looking at that too, and I see that test of faith. Yeah, someone here definitely taking a break. Uh, there's no action or movement right now, I feel, in your love life. Or you have somebody here who's, like I say, looking at things from a different perspective, not moving. So I also see someone needing to let their guard down. You know, the, the Four of Swords is healing, but it's somebody who's just thinking. See how somebody is thinking, letting their guard down. It has to do with someone having faith in this path. So someone's pinned down by their thoughts here. Oh, oh my goodness. Tell me about this house, home, financial foundation, a reason to see. Someone's got this very positive energy coming in. It's a whole new perspective. Yeah, to do with stability, safety, security, uh, business ideas. It's all tying in, but it has to do with stability and partnering up. You got somebody here who's doing some thinking. They're not moving yet. It could be someone who's healing something because of the change of perspective. Looking at things from different perspectives. Ooh. <laughs> See, I, I feel there's someone here who sees you as, as somebody. Uh, there's this manifesting. I mean, it's just two people who have everything they need. But it has to do with the test of faith. It has to do with someone letting someone in. Letting the guard down. So somebody here, nine of wands, someone who doesn't want to give up. But there's definitely someone who's not moving. They're not taking any action just yet because they're manifesting. See, they're getting gaining some kind of clarity. Someone's releasing something here. Yeah, see, there's this beautiful change, a shift in energy, the way someone's thinking. Someone who's been thinking and just holding back. Someone's not quite, quite ready to make a move, but it has to do with change, financial change. It has to do with someone leaving something behind and moving forward. There's movement coming in here. There's change coming, but it has to do with this person's change of perspective, what two people bring to the table. See, it's an energy of manifesting, mirroring. Mm-hmm. Look at, look. Oh my gosh, Aquarius. There you go. See, releasing things that no longer serve. So it is a healing energy, somebody kind of healing, getting over a situation. But it has to do with someone's hopes and dreams, everything they could ever want. So I feel there's two people going to come together here. Someone's been procrastinating too, should I or shouldn't I? See, they're not moving. But as far as yourself, I feel like you've let something go. You've released something. Could be a person, there could be someone here who's a Gemini. I see Pisces energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very strong Gemini energy. But it doesn't mean the person is. It's just an energy of someone trying to manifest. It's an energy of uh, somebody changing their perspective, how they feel about a situation because they've let go. Someone's released baggage. So this is, I, I feel like you. there's two people going to manifest coming together, partnering up. See, two people being stable. Two people who have everything they need. Yeah, very nice. Tell me more about the star. 
Yeah, see, there you are. See, speaking your truth, cutting things out, communicating clearly. So there's been a healing or a release. Someone getting out of their head. See, I feel like you have a whole different perspective. But it's about speaking truth and wanting to know some truth. So you're seeing this. You're being wise. You're being discerning. Somebody who's you know, being very, very smart here. See, it's where you, it's just not moving. Yeah, but the thoughts that have been pinning you down, or it could be this other person doing this thinking. So some of you definitely, you know, you, it has to do with now having to communicate, speaking truth, clarity. Yeah, see, there's a connection. Some of you have let somebody go. Uh, I do see some of you possibly cutting someone out or letting them go, but you're looking into the future. You're seeing the bigger picture. So you've let something, you've released something because it doesn't serve you. There could be a situation that didn't serve. You've moved on from it, but you have somebody here who's kind of checking things out here, looking at, at things from a different perspective and maybe seeing you from a different light here. As I feel like you're speaking truth, I see a, a connection, two people talking seeing eye to eye but some of you may have released somebody and moved on but there's still this energy of another person yeah i see harmony and balance see somebody here maybe wasn't right for you and i do feel like some of you it's gemini libra see you've got these energies so someone here i feel wasn't right you may be weighing the pros and the cons comparing two people they may have similarities but i feel like you've got this person manifesting here it's not just you, it's this other person, the little mirroring, the things you want, this change of perspective, a lot of financial growth, prosperity, and this positive change. I see harmony coming into your life. I, I see harmony here. Uh, somebody, It's about choosing someone who's right for you or not. And it could be another person too. Like I say, it could be this other person. If you are a masculine Aquarius, I definitely see there's somebody here with a Libra where a Libra energy has let go of a Gemini. <laughs> but they're still manifesting. Tell me about this magician. Yeah, I'm seeing harmony and balance between two people. It's when you just know somebody isn't right for you, it's time to move on. Yeah, so you've got a person who's very bold. Now, this is, is Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio. Now, it's just an energy of someone who's very masculine. Somebody who's looking at the situation, partnering up. See, it has to do with someone being stable. But it's an energy of through thick and thin, something long term. See, somebody here is leaving something behind. They're moving on. They're coming your way here. And this is someone who knows exactly what they want. And they're going for it. Yeah, this is someone ready for new, you see. A little Leo energy for some of you. But this is a person high vibrational. Someone has a whole different perspective. See, they're getting clarity now, see, they're seeing things very clear. This is someone who sees you as a partner, someone stable, reliable, someone who's there through thick and thin. Yeah, look at that. See, this is something that has to do with investing, uh, hoping something pays off. This is someone who's been waiting patiently for the right time, the right person. This is lovely. I feel harmony being restored. I do see um, this energy of commitment, marriage, starting something new, but there's so much happiness and joy. Someone's seeing this way. They're looking at this happiness, but someone who's leaving something behind, releasing baggage, letting somebody go and heading in your direction. But I feel like, and they could be, have Libra in their chart whoever they are but yeah for i i feel you're speaking truth someone's seeing things from a whole different light they see you they're happy positive you know high vibrational beautiful yeah see the queen of pentacles somebody practical sensible see someone seeing you this way somebody who's very gracious um, very sensible practical the way they live someone who's you know has in, investing in this situation but somebody here is waiting for the right time but it's whether to invest in it. This is the way I feel for the feminine, whether you should invest in this. Some of you got a couple things going on. There's two people, but I feel maybe they're similar. You're comparing them. But like I say, I feel like you're cutting someone out. You've let them go. The situation didn't serve. Now you're being more practical and sensible. So, so And there is a person here, I feel, who sees you this way. So Because someone's seeing things from a whole different light. Some of you have healed, you've let someone go, you're no longer interested because you want justice and harmony. Someone may not have treated you right too. 
uh, in the past here. But you're moving towards harmony in your love life. Very nice. Yeah, look at, there it is, looking at this, looking at all the details, being practical and sensible uh, here. See, it's all in the details. And it's, like I say, making some sort of choice. Some of you may be comparing one person to another, but it also could be someone else who's doing this with yourself. But I'm going to tell you, nothing compares because the sun is here, shining brightly, exposing everything. So it's a lot of happiness. Yeah. Tell me about this sun. Yeah, you can see somebody's feeling very enthusiastic. It has to do with a person feeling like they need to hurry up and communicate. Oh my goodness. Tell me more about the... See, this is somebody here who rushed into a situation and then backed out because they're, they're looking at this about investing. See, waiting patiently for something to pay off. Yeah, you got a king of swords. There it is. It could be a masculine um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini here. So just take it how it resonates. But yeah, somebody here speaking truth. This is someone speaking the truth. They are that they are enthusiastic, but it's somebody who often rushes in and then kind of maybe gets a little overwhelmed, or somebody feeling pressured. It has to do with pressure, because this is someone who doesn't. They make a decision without pressure. So it's somebody here looking at things from a different perspective, seeing things in a whole different light. Here, so this is somebody coming in to talk to communicate. Very wise, you know. This is someone who sees opportunity. You see, they see opportunity. So somebody who wants truth, they want to know if you're, you know, if you have other options, if you're seeing someone, some of you may have some options here, but this is someone who sees opportunity. It's about take, see, it's about seizing the day. It's about taking the opportunities that are presented. So, yeah, this is someone who's been kind of procrastinating, fantasizing, romanticizing. It's a person who also, is, again, sees the bigger picture. This is someone who sees themselves in this situation because they're looking at this, checking things out, seeing everything from a whole different perspective. Yeah, see, it's a person who's now feeling, they're definitely confident. This is someone who's tamed the beast within themselves. So it's a person who's getting out of their head, clearing their head. This could be them who's healing. It's possible you had someone here who was dealing with something here, pinned down by their thoughts. But I feel we got two people kind of thinking the same thing. And I do see a lot of kindness, compassion, strength, forgiveness. But this is a person who's feeling confident. See, somebody wasn't very confident at some point here. Now they feel more confident because they're seeing things from a different perspective. So obviously somebody was pinned down by some thoughts. But I feel uh, the feminine energy as well. See, being more practical. It has to do with feeling safe. It has to do with feeling secure, stable. Now, if you already are stable, working multiple jobs, you know, working really hard here, like I say, it may have been some sort of judgment here. But look at the high priestess. See, someone trusting their inner knowing. See, if they would have known then what they've known now, they would have been more confident. This is really interesting. Someone's feeling confident now, though. You see, they've tamed to that beast. They've gotten out of their head. They're thinking. They're seeing things clearly. See, there's clarity. So this is somebody trusting their inner knowing. But if they would have known then what they know now, things would have been different. So I feel someone's going to come in and talk to you. They want to communicate. Yeah, they're choosing their battle. See, this is someone who's been thinking things through. This is something worth going after. This is someone who could be the, like someone who let you get away. They certainly don't want you to, but you can see they've thought it through. They're choosing their battles. There's definitely somebody here who is focused a lot maybe on work, a business, their house, their home. But this has to do with commitment, marriage, harmony. And somebody who's just right. Somebody wants to make something right here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I, I feel, yeah, this is someone who's learned something. See, they're thinking about this. They're gaining some clarity and insight. They want to clear something up. Someone was clearing things out of a, a situation here too. It's going to be someone clearing up their house and home. I mean, that clearing out can be anything. But I feel like this is someone who's learned something. See, if they would have known then, 
what they know now, it would have been different because they're now this is somebody who's trusting their intuition, their inner knowing. So now they know something, they've learned something. And often this is someone who's learned things about self. Yeah, see, this is somebody who ended a painful situation, something, a uh, period in their life. So the timing may not have been right. This is someone who should have been more patient. But it's an energy of showing interest. They were interested. They were interested, absolutely. But someone here felt stabbed in the back. A uh, painful period in their life is now over, though. So, oh my goodness. Oh my, yeah. Cycle ending, new cycle beginning, windfall of abundance. So this is a whole new cycle here. I feel like you got a whole new cycle in your love life. This is the timing. The timing is right. The timing is now. So I feel this person's going to be reaching out here. You're going to look at this offer opportunity, what they have to say. Yeah. And so it's like the pentacles here, you know, it's like the page of pentacles. But I feel this is your the feminine, just grounding themselves, looking at all the details of the situation. How And with the seven of cups here, this is in a looking at how it all played out, what was said, how things happened. Because I feel that you've been pinned down by your thoughts. I feel like you're over this. You've released it. You've just blown it off. Maybe someone here, you felt somebody just blew you off. At some point, I don't think so. I don't think this person stopped thinking about you. Yeah, I, I feel like you got a person coming in to talk here. They want this to go in their favor, but it has to do with it has to work for both people. So it, it's, it's all about a cycle and the timing. Yeah, it has to do with success and victory. It's an energy of not the Queen of Pentacles doesn't chase. See, this is someone seeing this. You're not chasing. They're seeing that you're successful, that you work hard, that you take care of yourself. Um, I mean, I, I really feel some of you have really had a lot on your plate, but I do feel like you're very responsible. You take responsibility. I feel this person maybe feels responsible for something, but whatever happens, some, a cycle in their life is over. I feel they have also healed. So it could be somebody, you know, coming in with strength, finding the courage and the strength to maybe ask for forgiveness. But they're speaking truth about being successful. This could be someone who has a lot of people chasing them because they are. So often the King of Swords is someone who's very discerning, just like the Queen of Swords, somebody whose BS detector goes off, right? Yeah, so this is somebody here um, who's very wise here. But if they would have known then what they've known now, things would have been different. Yeah, see, this is someone reminiscing. I feel this is somebody reminiscing here. I feel they're going to give you a gift. They're looking at the possibilities, maybe giving you a little gift or something to show you they like you. But there's a lot of reminiscing. This is someone who longs for love. They long for love. And there could be a situation with family, children, blended families. But wow. So often somebody, when the children leaves home too, that this is the freedom card, some children leaving home, going off on their own. Somebody maybe wasn't ready, the time wasn't right, but it's definitely someone who's ended a painful period. So yeah, definitely it's whatever it is, it's over. Yeah, this is someone ready to go down this path. So it's an energy of acknowledging. This person's acknowledging things here, but it's about doing things together. It's about teaming up. There's a need for cooperation and compromise, but it's also the things you have in common. See this common path, these common goals. You're both you're both goal oriented, so I feel there's going to be acknowledge for achievements and goals here. Wow! But this is the things you have in common: compatibility. Some of you may have cut someone out, ended it because you know maybe they came in and said hey, we have nothing in common. Uh, whatever it happened, but I feel for yourself, regardless, it's over because I feel like you got another energy coming in. Yeah, but I feel someone's going to speak truth here. Yeah, someone's definitely wants to team up. They want to spend some. See, it's an energy of someone giving someone attention, doing things together. Yeah, and there we have a single person. See, someone who has everything they need but love. This, both of you, you mirror each other. This is two people, your journey. You know, the path, this is about the path. This is two people at a crossroads, a time in their life. It's possible two people went their separate ways at some point here. 
when maybe when you were young and then possibly coming back together but like i say it could be children there's reminiscing longing for love we have someone who's independent they take care of themselves look at this kindness compassion ah yeah it's the queen of cups see somebody who's very confident very strong be emotionally strong okay aquarius i feel like you're emotionally strong here and you are releasing. I do see kindness, compassion, forgiveness. There's something here I feel that if you would have known then what you know now as well, you see it's it's both of you, things would have been different. But I do feel there's this very lovely, yeah, look at it has to do with having faith. Having faith about the two of you being on the same page. Lifestyle habits, the way you conduct yourselves. Yeah, see good morals. See somebody who has very good morals and values. Someone may not have been faithful to this person, so I feel, you know, there's some issues there where they're very discerning. This is someone who trusts their inner knowing, you know. But I feel whatever this person, something was ending, it wasn't the right time. And others of you, it's just somebody who's waiting for their children to go off on their own, their own journey. So, but it has to do with someone committing and having faith. Um, and their lifestyle see there's a need to cooperate and compromise someone's lifestyle the way they conduct themselves see someone sees you as somebody with as a good person somebody who's kind compassionate good morals good values very sensible person lovely yeah see this is someone taking lessons learned but it's an energy of some time there's been some time in between See, all this time in between, someone's history. See, someone's curious. They want to know someone's life history. Um, there's definitely been relationships, committed relationships, I feel, that weren't successful. That some things calming down. Someone's, you know, somebody here wants to get to know you. Or I feel this energy of getting reacquainted. Someone's going to speak some truth here. Yeah, it could be someone who moved on to avoid a disaster because the time wasn't right. But I feel there's lessons been learned. Like this is time in between, things calming down. And now we have the Empress. See, I feel like the, this is Aquarius. This is insane because I feel like you're just being so kind and compassionate. You're open to talk, to communicate. So you've, you've reached some goals. I feel some of you are definitely that Empress energy. I'm telling you, you've, this is where you're headed, this path you're going down. You've manifested all the energies of the queens. You've learned a lot of lessons. You're very wise. So I do feel being kind, compassionate, understanding, definitely not blaming someone for something that you've done yourself, um, possibly for some of you, but it's also this other person. This is be this is the start of something new here. Yeah. You've got an emperor. Oh my gosh, this is two people. I really feel like you know this person. There's a you have a history, or it's about just getting acquainted, learning about each other. And I feel that's important. Talking, making sure you're on the same page, you understand each other, lifestyles, habits, your day-to-day -day lives, making sure everything's copacetic. But there will be a need for compromise. But you have an emperor and an empress energy here. The feminine, definitely very grounded, being very sensible. Yeah. But this is goals, achievements, I feel. So I feel we've got two people who kind of went separate ways. Maybe when you were young, who knows? You may have a history because it's about learning each other's histories, their past. There's all this time in between. I feel like it's getting reacquainted. But it looks like something never went to the next level. So it could have been a crush that never really developed for some of you. But others of you, it's just two people who have released past energy and healed. Two people who are now ready to come together, whether you know each other or not. But some of you, there's a history here. Or it's just no, learning about each other, growing closer. Yeah. See, moving forward calmly and peacefully. I feel somebody definitely dealt with something. Things have calmed down. Yeah, look at that. See, this is what this person sees is the queen of cups somebody who's very loving and kind compassionate someone who really cares something maybe they didn't see before oh my gosh yeah this is i mean this is a motherly energy nurturing and caring here mm -hmm. you know one thing i will say uh, this mother motherly energy this um 
kindness and compassion, this emotional energy. If somebody is, I feel you're emotionally mature. Um, but I feel you've been trying to manifest by being kind and compassionate, loving, caring for people, maybe even caring for children. Um, this could be someone who sees you as the, you know, envisions you as the mother of their children, for those of you who are younger. But like I say, it's just somebody who's now seeing this. Whatever's happened in their life, it's over. Okay, somebody has ended a cycle. It was painful. Uh, like I say, it's somebody also rising like the phoenix from the ashes. Why? Because we have a king of wands energy, someone who's determined. They know what they want. You see? And I feel someone's going to go for it here. Now you're going to get some truth. It all has to do with this person shining that little light, looking for clarity, seeing things from a whole different perspective, a whole different light. You know, it could be someone who feels a little bit like a fool, um, but it's also an energy of someone taking a risk. This is someone who's generally not afraid of taking risks. They've taken risks before. They see the risk, <laughs> but probably both of you. See, it's about going down that path, leaving the path behind. It's time to go down this path. This person's going to reach out. They're taking a risk. I feel they've been procrastinating. So it's a win or lose situation. Mm -hmm. See, all good things take time. That has to do with that seven of coins there. All good things take time. Practical, sensible, but it's about investing, showing interest. See, some of you were trying to show someone you were interested in them, but they were just, the, I feel, whatever they were dealing with wasn't the right time. And it's likely different for each of you. But I really wish you the best here. I feel they're going to communicate. And you're going to look at this very carefully and take your time. Don't rush. Okay, Make sure this is right for you because I do see harmony and balance, whether someone's right for you or not. Some of you have definitely cut someone out, I feel, at some point in the past that wasn't right. Or, and time, some time maybe has gone on and you're seeing someone here isn't right for you, but you have this other person. There's several people here. There's several energies. There's two, but it's about the two of you coming together and talking. I feel you're going to have a conversation. I think you're going to see eye to eye with someone about lifestyles, the way you live your day-to-day -day lives, your social structure, you know, because it's all about this change of perspective, how you see each other. You may have a picture in your mind of the way somebody is when they're actually not that way and vice versa. Until you actually get to know each other and spend time, you, you don't really know. So I'm seeing harmony being restored in your love life. So take care and we'll see you soon.